Oh, it seems so tedious. You know, online online uh, groups seem to have a two or three year lifespan, uh, more or less. And, um, you know, it just gets to be a point where they, they shed more and more people. Um, and even if the size of the community is still growing, it's like there's a anti-communal turnover. And YouTube has done better, and I think it can do better because it's not ideologically formed. It's really bad. You get a blog, like a political blog, and over the three years you start to find out your differences, and people just can't handle it. It doesn't matter the scale of difference. Because when they're looking at the difference, it's like, it's the whole world. It's all I can see right now. Yeah, we'll back up a bit. Um, so it seems very tedious. I mean, I was noticing this Hey Ruka person parroting fringe element type bullshit about race and it's just like what well, we're I mean, people have to go through it but I mean what am I gonna do I like conversations it's like that's pointless I I talked to fringe element over three years ago and 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 ended up getting over that um, it was easier because he dropped off YouTube and wasn't a couple years later it wasn't until a couple years later I I realized he uh, he was still here. But, um, yeah, that, that whole stuff is just ridiculous. I mean, see, everything, you know, it's like when these anti-natalists, everything turns into anti-natalism. I mean, to me, it's this objective reason. I mean, the whole idea of racism relies on this idea of a classical category that doesn't exist in reality. In fact, categories in, in animal species are, uh, you know, there, there, there isn't a sharp edge, you know? And then the other thing is this is just so realistic. I mean, they, they want to say, well, we're just peaceful separatists. Well, there is no peaceful separatist. I'm mixed. I'm four generations. Cherokee, Hawaiian, and then a bunch of European. But I'm mixed, four generations, both recently, freshly mixed, and significant. So, um... Where am I supposed to go back to? I'm supposed to just uh, pass as white or whatever. And then the other thing is like, yeah, the whites, the IQ and the, oh yeah, and the whites also have a, like double the suicide and they have most of the serial murderers. And yeah, it looks like a bit of a psychotic mm, purity and we're better kind of a, if there's a, something built into the white race, it's not pretty, so I'm, I'm really, really hoping for the uh, individual differences make more of a difference. But in terms of the multiculturalism, uh, I'm going back four generations mixed. That is my roots, dumbasses. Oh, mm. I just, I want to create tools where the sewage can be condensed. See, that's, that's why these things only last a couple of years in general, or somehow you have to find a new community within a community or something. We should all be talking, those of us that have been here three years, we should all be talking around the table and acknowledging that we are a conversation group. It doesn't matter how much we disagree with the other person across the table. We couldn't have a conversation if there wasn't someone across the table, hello. And, and the thing is though, so people go into an important subject, let's say, or like abortion, and, it, it, and they talk, and they immediately start forming likes and dislikes and kind of friendships and then an animosity and this person comes in on what they see as their side and then it's a friendship friendship animosity networks and those networks which is just so beautiful everybody thinks you know it just is their evidence of drama dropping it is this the seeds of drama in these online friendships and animosities and then somebody later on tries to come into this forum where they're talking about abortion it's like you can't even do it they're like well I think this no matter how reasonable well I think this and then they're arguing with somebody and they say something and somebody comes in do you know he's an asshole and a pedophile and he's well he, she cheated on her husband and I'm like what you know it's just a destructive of the conversation but everybody thinks no it's not you have to care about my drama or else you don't have compassion for my self torture Ugh. Makes me so sick. I'm so tired of that. We need sewage. We need like bathrooms so that people could go dump their drama in a little, you know, in a little porta potty 
and it could get flushed away instead of just left on the middle of the round table. So, yeah, and the antinatalism thing, it's funny, people tell me to, to back off and calm down, and if I do, just the same people saying that keep going. So it's just so funny how, uh, how that works. Um, but derived energy, I mean, I, it's probably good I'm not talking about antinatalism right now because I think that there's some good intentions and, uh, again, objectivist epistemology uh, and metaphysics plays a role. But, um, but this stuff, derived energy with this button, it doesn't seem to, I mean, it's just so unself aware that that is genocide of the human race and it thinks there's an exception if you kill everybody. But it's like, if you had a group of people, it's like, you're going to fall asleep and wake up, it'll be painless, okay? And that's not genocide. Oh, well, of course that's genocide, because that's not everybody. But somehow, if you get everybody. Oh, but wait, if your big red button had just a one in a million chance of a flaw, then, you know, there'd be, what, thousands of people left? So, your thing would have to work on... I mean, it's just... Fantasizing about killing the human race uh, which is what that is. oh no it's painless so if it's painless so if you're an angel of mercy you're a nurse that's supposed to bring someone back to life and but you decide that they should be put out of their misery that's not really what hello if your value system allows for you fantasizing about pushing a button that eliminates the human race you're having genocidal fantasies, my friend. Anyway. Um, you know, it, it's funny because, like, this arguing with uh, fringe elements, to me that seems pointless, but not really. It's from the side of the conversation I don't really value, but I think has some value, which is uh, where people go around looking for things to criticize. Now, in the case of criticizing racism, I think that's great. And... Uh, and it's odd because sometimes the critics, you know, are the more together intellectual ones and it's the crazy ones that are trying to create some new system and it just happens to be nuts. Um, but why does it have to be like that? Why can't the, the intelligent ones be creating systems? Because they don't want to be attacked like that because you have to be crazy in order to try to create something new. Um, and then, you know, when you're trying to create something uh, like a philosophical system or new terms or and, and try to build something new philosophically, then um, you, you can't attract these other intelligent critics. They want to go after young earth creationists and out, out white supremacists, you know. They don't want to go with something subtle. It's just not the taste. There's too many easy things to criticize. Um, things that are scary doesn't feel easy, but intellectually it's easy to criticize. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, I think we probably need software that helps just, that this takes the raw input of the way it works naturally, takes this tendency of, you know, scholarly critics and, you know, nut Casey theorists, and somehow, uh, tracks out the information we get on this side and tracks out the drama we generate on that side and uses that as fertilizer for a garden. I don't know what you do with that. I just want to be over here on this intellectual side. Anyway, whatever.